There were a lot of people growing up that were in some type of teaching role that inspired me. Church leaders, school teachers, coaches, even family members, they all had something in common and that was that they were passionate about what they loved and they desired to share that with me. And that was something that I really wanted to do as I got older, I wanted to give back in some way. I love that I have the opportunity to help guide these kids into becoming the people that they were created to be. The best part is that I get to spend all of my days with the best kids on the planet. I hope that they always remember me as being someone that was always cheering for them and celebrating with them, even when they didn't believe in themselves, that I was someone that did believe in them and could push them. Miss Lane is an incredible teacher. She puts her students first. She works very hard to meet their needs, and then she is an incredible team player. I can unreservedly say that Miss Lane is one of my favorite people to co-teach with. She's very, very flexible um, and she always puts the interests of the students first. You can see her heart for her students anytime you watch her work or watch her interact with her kids. Miss Lane is really a one-of-a-kind teacher. She is kind, she's a hard worker, dependable, she can stay calm, under fire. She puts the kids first and foremost and does whatever it necessary for them to be successful. She's very sweet. She's always nice to everyone, and we get to do fun activities with her. She's a good teacher. She always helps us out. She has like a really nice personality. And I think I'll always remember all of her generosity and her always caring for everybody. Lindsay, congratulations on Teacher of the Year. You will be a fabulous representative for Belton Elementary. Thank you for all you do. We love you. Good luck, Miss Lane. Um, I love you and I'll miss you. I've been so blessed by having you in my classroom and working with my kids. And good luck. I love you. You deserve this. We're so proud of you. You're amazing. Hey, I had a great ag teacher by the name of Glenn Stevens. He uh, put a passion for agriculture to me along with many other students. I do enjoy seeing the students when they actually understand a concept and they can kind of see practical application for it. If the kids see a general purpose for it, then that lets you know you did what you were supposed to be doing. Ben is a great teacher because he is motivated, dedicated, and innovative. Ben created a manufacturing program basically from scratch, and it's a program that has drawn attention from industries across the state of South Carolina. He's really stepped up his game and has given our students in Anderson School District to an edge going into college through the manufacturing program. I think he should be Teacher of the Year because he does give so much, not only to the students, but to the staff. His whole goal uh, as a teacher is to prep kids for the career field. Uh, he's educating these students with like life skills uh, that they're going to be able to take outside the four walls of school. The kids love him and he uh, really gets involved in, uh, in what they're doing and their their activities. He always keeps it fun. He always tries it a fun way to uh, keep us entertained, keep us on task and want us to learn these new things. All around he's like, he's a really good teacher. You know, he's a really good person to be around and easy to talk to. He's always helping if you need help in ag or something like that. If you need help outside of school, he'd help you. Uh, Woody, congratulations. I hope you're the best. Good luck and you're doing a great job. Well, thank you, Woody, for everything you did for me and thanks for helping me get through high school. You are a good friend. Uh, you have a wealth of knowledge and ability for our students. I've enjoyed working with you this year, looking to 20 plus more years working together and trying to make BHP as great of an ag program as we can make it together, man. Good luck, bro. Ben, great job. Keep it up. Everybody don't realize this, we are brothers from another mother. Trying to get too big for your britches. There are two things that inspired me to be a teacher. I believe God gave me a love for students and a love for children. The second is that well, my brother Brad can't walk or talk and that's why I chose the degree in special ed. Middle school teaching, you get everything from kindergarten level to high school. You get all different aspects in middle school and that's why I love teaching middle school. I would want my students to remember that while they were in middle school going through one of the most difficult changes in their life that Miss Bell was there for them. Dina is an, an awesome teacher. Uh, if you just sit back and watch her, you know she loves her kids. Uh, she does an amazing job of getting the most out of them and she is selfless. Dina Bell carries herself every day, every minute of the day in a Christ-like manner. I wish I could be more like Dina Bell. Miss Bell is such a great teacher. I couldn't imagine somebody else being in my classroom with me and taking charge. Like anybody needs help, or she'll help them, or like if someone needs for her, like if they need to talk to her, it doesn't matter who, she'll talk to you and let us know she's the best teacher. Well, I know I can always call her 
She said I can always call her if I ever need help. I love that she'll put you in your place. Like if you're getting an attitude or something, she's like not afraid to be like, listen. I'll always remember the way she treats people. She's always nice. She's she always got a smile on her face. Um, always happy. Well, happy most of the time. She makes you laugh a lot. Her class is not boring, but she makes you do your work. You have some fun, but you gotta get your work done. I'm proud that she is my friend and I love her. We are proud of you. You're an excellent representative of Belton Middle School and uh, we wish you well. I'm so excited for you and there is nobody in this world more deserving of this award than you. I love you, Miss Bell. I'll miss you this year. I love you, Miss Bell. I love you, Miss Bell. My elementary school teachers inspired me to become a teacher. They were such positive role models in my life. I decided uh, when I was in the third grade in this very school building that I wanted to be a teacher. And I've been blessed to spend my whole teaching career at HP. I love teaching kindergarten. I love teaching the little ones. They are so fun and so eager to learn and they love school. You never know what they're going to say or what they're going to do and they give the best hugs. I hope my students remember that I love them and I believe in them. Miss Simmons is kind. She is one of the most patient teachers I've ever seen. She's always willing to do anything to make sure her students are successful. She loves her kids. And I think that's what makes her such an awesome teacher, is that love that she has for her children and how she's willing to go the extra mile. She wants to help every child succeed. And you can just see that in everything she does and just her patience and her love. She has an extreme amount of patience. She's always very organized and always able to get it all done, even under the most pressure. She helps us. She has the most beautiful clothes. She makes us feel happy. She is beautiful. She be nice. Miss Simmons, we are so proud of you, and you certainly deserve to be the Anderson School District 2 Teacher of the Year. Michelle, we love you. I'm so excited that you're Teacher of the Year, and I hope that you get District Teacher of the Year because you are so deserving of it. Wish you the best. I am so proud of you, and I love you, and I hope that you are our District Teacher of the Year. I love you, Miss Simmons. Thank you for teaching me. I love you, Miss Simmons. When I first graduated from Clemson, I got a degree in business, and I went for some job interviews and quickly found out that a life sitting in an office just wasn't for me. It was a boring, dull occupation any kind. So I decided to go back to get a degree in teaching and then quickly fell in love with it when I went to the classroom because you get to use your imagination, your creativity, every day is different and it's up to me what happens that day. You get to see the students grow from the beginning of sixth grade to the end of sixth grade. They're just completely different people. They've learned so much. They've grown physically, they've grown taller, but also mentally they've learned how to interact. What I want my kids to remember is not remembering me, but as much as remembering these years of their life, the middle school, because it's a big time in their life of a huge transition. And I want kids to be able to experience middle school and look back at this time period on their life with fond memories. Warren Simpson is a great teacher. He is so passionate about his kids, coming up with innovative ways to present the curriculum to them. Kids will ask us to skip out on events and celebrations because they just enjoy going to Warren's class so much they want to be there all the time. Warren is just so innovative. He always has all these different ideas for how to implement his content in his classroom and every time you walk by you always see the kids engaged in something exciting. Warren Simpson doesn't just teach the facts about history and social studies but he really gets the kids totally immersed in whatever culture or time period they're studying. He incorporates music, arts, technology. He cares about his students. Um, he understands the students, like if they're struggling or something, he lets them stay at, uh, like let them stay during recess to help them finish their work. He's a good teacher. The way he teaches us is fun. He's very interactive with us. He's always making us projects for us, always making fun games for us to play. I'll always remember that he made history fun in sixth grade. We are incredibly proud of you. You are incredibly deserving. Mr. Simpson, we're very proud of you. Keep getting it, Warren. You make the best co-Quidditch coach in the world. I wish you the best. You are so deserving of Teacher of the Year. I usually don't like tall people, but Warren's an exception. You're a great teacher, Mr. Simpson. Congratulations and good luck.
You were the best teacher ever, Mr. Simpson. You are a great teacher this year, and I really enjoyed it. I was inspired to be a school counselor by my mom. Um, she was a second grade teacher for many years, and I just had a front row seat to see all the love and dedication she poured into her students. And I hope that I could do the same. And then I'm inspired every day by the teachers at Marshall Primary, how they day in and day out just show physical love and very understanding and encouraging to their students and support them inside and outside of the classroom. I just hope that my students will remember that I love them. At Marshall, we have the little ones, and even though they're little, just many of them carry heavy burdens, so I just know that I will remember them just for their courage and resiliency, their strength. So I just hope that they will remember that I listened to their stories and tried to help, and I don't know if they'll remember me, but I will definitely remember them. Miss Grimes is the epitome of awesomeness. She is compassionate, she's loving, she's genuine, very transparent. The best person to be a school counselor at a primary school. Courtney is the definition of selflessness. She's always putting the concerns and needs of others before herself. No matter how she's feeling, she always has a big smile on her face. Miss Grimes is one of the most compassionate people that I've ever met. She goes above and beyond to make sure that students have everything that they need. And knowing her position as a school counselor and how much she's faced with every single day, to be able to help us and to provide for those students is amazing. Courtney is consistent day in and day out. I mean, she is always pleasant, always happy, and she is always willing to help. She is just one of the sweetest, most pleasant people. She's nice. She's always smiling. She teaches me how to be nice and care for others and don't fight. She helps us by talking to us. If somebody, if someone having a problem, she'll come and get them out of class and talk to them. She helps us be nice and being kind to others. She always laughing, smiling, and being nice. She teaches kids a lot of cool stuff. She helps kids be nice to others. She's always so nice. Courtney, I am so honored that you will be representing us at Marshall Primary School as Teacher of the Year. Congratulations. You deserve it. Congratulations, Miss Grimes. We love you. Courtney, I am so happy for you. I cannot think of a more deserving person. You give of yourself constantly. You are one of the most sincere and authentic people I have ever met. Hey, Ms. Grimes, you are the best teacher. I love you, Ms. Grimes. I love you, Ms. Grimes. My parents were both educators. They've worked in the schools both in our district and in other districts. So growing up, I got to see how they interacted with everyone. And they'd talk to people in the community and they'd have their prior students come and talk to them. And it was always exciting to see how much of a difference they made in everybody else's lives. And I wanted to be like them. I wanted to grow up and have that influence in the world and our community too. I love seeing the difference that we can make in people's lives. When our kindergarten students come into the classroom, some of them only know a letter or the letters in their names, but by the end of the year, they know all the letters, they know how to write sentences and read books, and they have grown so much, and it's because of the effort we put into their lives. I want them to enjoy learning. I want them to enjoy reading and know that they can do anything. I want them to feel important and know that I love them no matter what. If you could envision a classroom that is filled with creativity, out of the box thinking, and taking students to their highest potential, that happens daily in that kindergarten classroom. She is one of those teachers that's very dedicated. She's here early, she stays late, and so She's prepared on a daily basis to give those children the best. She is a fabulous teacher. She really is. She loves the kids. She loves what she does. Always, always doing something for the kids, making something for them, thinking about what she can do to help them. She has super fun things for us to do. She um, helps us learn and she helps us do math and reading. She's a great job teaching. She um, helps people. We love you, Miss Bannister. We wish you the very best. Good luck.
I love you, Miss Bannister. You are a fabulous teacher and you are so deserving of this. You are the best teacher in the whole wide world.